This is breaking news from the Las Vegas Review Journal, sponsored by Michael Gaughan's South Point Hotel, Casino, and Spa. So I, of course, thank Dr. Zaragoza and Mr. Frank Woodbeck, who is always our wonderful, wonderful partner. <laughs> One of Gowen's main focus areas is creating pathways to meaningful careers for Nevadans. And this new partnership will be doing just that. We will be working to develop the next generation of cloud computing workforce talent right here in Nevada. So I would like to thank Governor Sisolak for making workforce development a priority and empowering us to be innovative in our workforce initiatives. So it is now my honor to introduce the Governor of the State of Nevada, Mr. Steve Sisolak. Thank you very much. It's really a pleasure to be here. When I come back to CSN, I feel like I'm back home after 10 years on the Board of Regents. This is, uh, I'll say it out loud, this is my favorite campus, a favorite school. My favorite school to come to CSN. I've always thought that CSN was undervalued, underfunded, and underappreciated. And we're going to change a lot because you do incredible work, Dr. Z, and we thank you for that. Uh, thank you for the kind introduction. I really appreciate it. Director Yang, it's always a pleasure to be on a CSN campus or any of our campuses of higher education. But uh, today is extremely important for this announcement that we're going to make. It's great to see so many community leaders gathered, and I make an, made a little joke about Peter being here, but the Chamber is involved, the Latin Chamber is involved in workforce development, and making sure that our young people have uh, an avenue or roadway to success and to good paying jobs that they can support themselves and their family. And we appreciate the business leaders and the community leaders taking such, such an active interest here, because that's what it takes. It takes a collaboration. I'm a firm believer that there is no problem we can't solve if we work together, and I don't care what that problem is. Nothing is too big for the state of Nevada and our residents to solve if we work together for a common solution. Uh, it's been a priority of mine going way back 20 years ago to my time on the Board of Regents to ensure that our workforce development programs are aligned with the jobs. It doesn't do any good to have people trained and not have jobs for them when they get out of school, or to have jobs available and not have people trained to fit those jobs. We need to do a better job of collaborating and coordinating, and this, this program does just that. Uh, we know that a vibrant, growing economy with good paying jobs goes a long way towards solving many of our challenges. We can no longer rely on just one economic driver in Southern Nevada to provide for our residents. We simply cannot survive alone on tourism and gaming. We need to do more, and that's what this program will help us achieve. That's why I have been working to build a stronger and more diverse economic foundation in Nevada, and we're making great inroads in that area. There's never been a bigger priority for me than it is today. We continue to recover from COVID, but we've learned a lot from the downturn in COVID. We've learned that our economy needs to diversify. We need to learn that we need to have uh, training for folks to retrain, retool, to get into another career. And these are the type of programs that will get us going in the right direction. And working closely, collaboratively with our K-12 system and our entry system, we can accomplish that. Because I've said all along, it's no longer enough just K-12. There has to be some second, some other education that follows that, whether it's an apprenticeship, whether that's community college, whether it's university, whether it's just a certificate, whatever it might be, one or two classes, some type of training course to give people a skill that they can use moving going forward is extremely important. Our, our universities, our education systems aren't the only ones involved in this work. We've got a great collaboration with the public and the private organizations, all working towards the same goal, and we need to continue and expand upon that. I'm grateful that this program has the support of Amazon Web Services. NSHE, K-12, and my governor's office of Workforce Innovation go up, working together to get the best results possible. This program that we're launching here today, in collaboration with Amazon Web Services, and I want to really thank Amazon for stepping up and helping us here. This, is, this isn't just a program. This is a life changer for a lot of people. This is going to make an enormous impact a lot of people's lives, their families, their futures. And we are extremely grateful that you've chosen to work directly with 
uh, us here in Nevada. Uh, I'm grateful that we have the support of everyone here. The program we're launching uh, is the first collaboration of its kind in the country because of the partners who've come together around this shared opportunity and this shared priority. This partnership creates new and exciting opportunities for high school and college students to learn computing education courses that they previously didn't have access to. And I can tell you, as it says here, there's thousands of unfilled jobs, good paying unfilled jobs, in the cloud sector, cloud computing sector, that remain unfilled day after day and year after year because we don't have the people ready to fill those jobs. This is going to help make it possible to get people into those job categories. There are thousands of these jobs. We're not just talking a few. Uh, we're taking the first steps to fill that gap, and we just had Tina Quigley walk in from LVGEA. I'm not calling her because you're late. I'm calling you in. I'm calling you up because LVGEA is working with us to expand opportunities. And this is an opportunity that we need to expand upon. And we get agencies like LVGEA and our chambers and our business community. Anything is possible. We can give these kids a hope and a future. It won't just be a dream for them. It can become a reality because of the work that you are putting forward. And I'm so thankful for that. And this partnership today also comes with resources for instructors and our students to be ensured that they have educators that can help, help them learn, help teach them the skills that we need. So I thank you so much for that. It's an honor to be here. I thank you for the program because this is going to make an enormous impact, as I said, on a lot of individual lives. I thank our private and public partnerships, our chambers, LVGA, our, LVGA, our community partners, our businesses, for taking such an active role here because it's going to truly make a difference. So it is now my honor to introduce uh, Kim Ajaris, President of U.S. Education, State, and Local Government, and his Amazon Web Services to provide some comments. Kim, thank you, and thank you for the program. Thank you, Governor. And before I start, I do want to say a special thanks to all the leaders here today who are going to talk about increasing access to tech skills in education and training across all the learners in Nevada. So a big thank you to all of you. Thank you. You know, AWS began offering this program over 15 years ago um, based on our true passion and expertise in building a running, a highly scalable infrastructure and service-oriented uh, software. It's marked major transformation and truly the cloud, the cloud revolution. Since that, many, many things have changed because things are being innovated day after day. But there are still many things that actually have stayed the same. We're an unusually focused account team and company on our customers. 90% of what we build is based on what our customers tell us. And that 10% that's left, we try to look around corners and we really try to embrace what we see as potential game changers. That makes us entirely focused on what you're trying to accomplish. But most importantly, we're here to build a long-term relationship because I think many of us understand that it's the next generation of leaders that is our true passion to provide them opportunities to which were maybe not available to them in the past, but what you're providing to them in partnership with AWS of what they could do in the future. We at Amazon were pioneers. We like to hire those builders who look at experiences that can be improved. We all have experiences. We all think, can we do it differently? Can we do it better? Can we do it faster? But really, those are the individuals that we'd like to look at and empower them to make those changes. This statewide education and training initiative that we're launching today is an example of those characteristics, and I hope each and every one of you see that and experience that through the, the support team that you'll have available to you. We're committed to working with the Governor's Office of Workforce Innovation, the Department of Education, the System of Higher Education to help them build a long-term initiative that will prepare the next generation of tech leaders and help the current workers reskill and upskill themselves. We've seen research show that workers interested in learning new skills, and in fact, um, there was a recent study uh, in the American Upskilling Study Empowering Workers for the Jobs of Tomorrow conducted by Gallup. 60% of your, your community is looking to build those new skills. So for individuals who are unemployed, or more importantly, underemployed, 
cloud computing skill training offers an opportunity for those workers to reskill and upskill themselves. But really, that's just one segment, and I'd love the focus on K through 12. By integrating cloud computing education into the high schools, we hope to spark that student's interest and, insp and inspire them to think about STEM. It's a way students are more likely to explore careers and even more importantly, enrolling in those classes that all of you are offering to them. We want to inspire that next generation and we're going to engage with modern cloud computing curriculum that have students excited to take that next step in a tech career. And for learners enrolled in higher education institutions today, this initiative will help ensure curriculum is aligned to skills employers need to provide them access and opportunity for those roles that we heard about that are still open and unfilled today. Together, we're pro providing participating high schools, community colleges, universities across the state with the curriculum tools, instructors will have professional development, and resources to help learners on their cloud journey. Whether they're entering the workforce for the first time or having a change in their career. I'm super energized by all the excitement by all of you and what you exude in this room. And it's really, that's the commitment that we're here. And we see it and we want to join you in it. The state is already a leader in tourism entertainment, as we all know. And now Nevada is leading the way for learners to pursue roles in artificial intelligence, big data, machine learning, cybersecurity, and so many other cloud services. We're excited to move forward with this opportunity. And I want to thank everyone because really, it is the impact that you're making now that will change the future far past what any of us will experience. So I wanna say from Amazon, from AWS, we're super excited to be a part of this program. And I wanna hand it over to Ryan Smith, Director of Economic and Urban, Urban Development in Las Vegas. Thank you. Uh, well, uh, good afternoon. Um, it's an honor to be here today with this announcement. Um, first, I want to thank Amazon AWS, obviously, for their commitment to Nevada and Las Vegas. Uh, I want to thank the governor for his leadership in, in preparing Nevada and his residents for, for really the future of work, right? Um, you know, I also want to recognize Isla Young. Uh, she works uh, relentlessly on creating these partnerships and bringing these opportunities to not only the city of Las Vegas, but the state. So again, thank you so much. Appreciate all your hard work. Uh, you're a great partner. Um, and I, wa I wanted to talk about a little bit about how important this initiative is not only the city of Las Vegas, but also the business community. Um, we were talking about open positions. And in fact, uh, the city alone has 12 open IT positions right now. So hopefully this program can uh, at least help the city fill some, some open positions. Um, but really, there's, there's not a day that goes by where there'll be less data produced in this world, right? I mean, we're all connected to devices, technology, sensors, IoT. Um, so it's only going to further scale. And the importance of students learning these skills is going to be vital uh, for Las Vegas. I mean, we have 48 million tourists a year. We're producing a lot of data. There's a lot of opportunity here. We have a lot of companies that are looking at Las Vegas um, to come into and really, really scale and, and gather that type of data that, that the city produces. Digital transfer, transformation is a top priority uh, of businesses. And data has become so important in any business decision that really any company uh, has nowadays. Uh, this partnership will allow Nevadans and Las Vegas to compete for these jobs. Um, in fact, according to LinkedIn, cloud computing is the number one in-demand school or in-demand uh, skill uh, in all of LinkedIn. Technology also transcends all industry. I'm in regular communication with the business community in Las Vegas in a variety of industries. They reiterate to me consistently the importance of IT talent and how it directly relates to their business. Las Vegas is IT sector. Uh, employment grew by 33% between 2015 and 2020. And according to the most recent update to the LVGA workforce blueprint, and I saw Tina's in, so I had to give a shout out to that, the most in-demand jobs in Las Vegas uh, are software development, and in fact, 30% of the top 10 are IT related. Uh, the city is committed to supporting entrepreneurs and startup tech companies. 
just three weeks ago um, in coordination with the state and the governor, thank you so much, uh, we announced a brand new accelerator coming into Las Vegas and all of Nevada. These companies will try to grow here locally, but they need to have access to talent. And a program like this will really help bridge that gap between the scaling company and their needs and our local residents and our ability to get jobs. If workforce is the most important topic really in all of economic development across the country. There's probably no state in the whole United States that would say workforce isn't vital for our economic success. And so partnering with somebody like AWS and the state of Nevada on this initiative will help us really close that gap. I want to thank CSN and Dr. Zaragoza, obviously, beautiful facility. Thank you so much for having us. You're a great partner in everything that we do. And lastly, I would say Las Vegas is really poised for massive growth in technology and innovation. We really, really are. Uh, kudos to the governor, to all the, the municipal leaders that have really taken initiative in, in driving innovation. Um, and it's going to be, con and, and workforce is going to be continued to be on the forefront of this initiative. So uh, that's kind of our, our missing uh, uh, leg to the stool. And I just can't thank Amazon AWS again so much for, for bringing this to our, to our students and, and committing to this in our state. So thank you very much. So I'd like to say thank you to all three of you for speaking today. Uh, and sharing in the excitement of this day. This has been a long time coming. We have been working for months and months and months. So it's a special day that this is being launched. And the reality of what you're hearing, uh, the importance of helping our young people understand what is possible and creating those opportunities and links to these special jobs that will pay well and they'll have an amazing quality of life. So I just want to, I know we're short on time, but I think I'd be remiss if I didn't thank just the core team that has actually been working behind the scenes to make all of our lovely speakers come today to share. So I just wanted to quickly thank um, Ms. Kimberly Carlisle of Amazon, who has been the key person for Amazon AWS to make this happen. Um, and I know Governor mentioned it, but Mr. Caleb Cage from Inchi, Mr. Craig von Kallenberg, Craig Statuki, and Cindy Chang of NDE. Cindy has joined us today. And of course, my Goan team, in particular, Amy Fleming, who's worked really hard on this initiative. So we have an uh, amazing partnership. Uh, we had a chance to say before this started, of course, this is an exciting announcement, but now the actual work starts, right? We really need all of our partners in the room to come together and help us make this happen because it is exciting for our state and for our young people. So at this time, Ms. Megan's going to take over uh, and help us with next steps. and then you can follow me. Uh, Nevada is a vibrant, up-and-coming up economy. You're going to see a lot more happening in Nevada. We're rebounding. It's the fastest growing state economically. You've seen that in any state in the country. Uh, we've got more opportunities here in terms of our environment, our tax structure, our climate, and the need is represented. We see that there's a desperate need in Nevada, and I'm very proud that Amazon chose Nevada to make this their first or one of their initial ones. So. You can just reiterate everything that I said. <laughs> and then, then we're in good shape to get I'm absolutely going to agree you. with everything Thank that you. you said. And I would have to say, it starts from the top. And it, I think the important part is thought leadership, vision, and passion around what the governor is doing. So that's why. Oh, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I, I think they got the microphone working, so thank you to CSN as always. Uh, we have a question from the Nevada Independent here. Right, so I'm for the governor, Jake Souls, Nevada Independent. Um, you know, the, we're looking at 2,500 students over three years <clears throat> in this program, getting upskilled, retraining, all that. Uh, but certainly, you look at the need, 9,600 jobs, 
in 2021 alone. To what degree is the state behind in training these kinds of workers? And in the long term, how do you expand this kind of program out so that you fill that need? Well, uh, first off, let me make clear, I want to diminish, you're right, 2,500 is a start, that's still near enough. I want to diminish the 2,500 number, because for those 25, and I get into this discussion with folks all the time, for those 2,500 people, this is the most important program that there possibly is. These jobs are the most important one, and I think as you see the success of this, hopefully we can get Amazon to partner with us and with our agencies to expand upon this, because this community, I'm telling you, between the chambers and the higher education and K through 12 in the business community, everybody wants to improve things. And when they see that there's a need and we found a way to fill it, believe it, I'm confident we can get people to step up and expand this. Another one, James? Yeah. Okay. James Sheep from Los Angeles Review Journal. So one more question I have for the governor. Uh, what is the plan to increase this interest uh, of this program for members of the Latino community and opportunities like this, considering that a good amount of Hispanic students don't have access to internet services at home work for extracurricular activities. Well, and I wish, I didn't see, I think Peter left, and I wish he wouldn't have. Uh, you're going to see at IOC tomorrow, we're trying to expand our broadband access so that everybody gets access to broadband, because it's extremely important. It's important that the equity exists in these jobs, and I know that the LVGA has gone on their way to make sure that we provide equity for all of our underserved communities, because there are underserved communities. These jobs are not given out on a fair basis because of the access to the education and the access to the opportunities. But we're going to change that. We're better than that, and we're going to improve upon that. Gov, we'll do one more from the Indy, and then we can break into smaller groups and have some refreshments. James Solson, Nevada Independent. Uh, you, Governor, you've spoken for a long time about this kind of, the, the need for this kind of program. And you mentioned in your speech the alignment uh, uh, between the state and the higher ed on a, a program like this in our workforce development. Uh, to what degree should the state rely on these sort of uh, public private partnerships when we talk about workforce development in, in the future? Well, I don't know how much we can rely on them, but we certainly need to cultivate them. And I'm, I'm here to tell you, like I say, it was. Better than 20 years ago, I served on the Board of Regents, and I'm the last thing about CSN and community college is fact. I mean, they are the closest to our business community that exists. If I'm looking and I've got out in Elko, we expanded the CDL license program so that we could train kids, you know, everybody's a kid to me, so we could train young people on the CDL, CDL licenses. In Carson City at Western, we expanded welding programs because we needed welders up here. There is a need for the computer program, the cloud technology, so we need to fill that need. We need as an education system to identify where the needs exist and then go to higher education and say, okay, start training workers for this. I've talked to folks at the state college. We're desperately short of nurses and teachers, which was the reason we opened the state college to begin with. So we need to focus on expanding the programs that will turn out students that fill the needs for the jobs that we have coming forward. And my administration has continued to do that uh, in conjunction with the uh, system of higher education and, and the regions in Chesa. So, Doug, if you have any closing remarks, we'll stop here and can do some one-on-ones and have some I, I, I want to thank everybody for being here, for the partnership that you've got. And I sincerely appreciate you picking Nevada and Las Vegas for a place to start this and to develop this program and to build upon it. It provides an enormous amount of that opportunity for young people that don't have it otherwise. And like I said, I'd go through this with 2,500 over three years. It's not going to shake the world, but it is going to shake the world for those 2,500 people. You know, when I was on the county commission, we'd approve a zone change for convenience store, and somebody say, well, God, you know, commissioner at the time, it's only going to be 12 jobs. I go, don't ever say only when you say jobs, because for the people that get those jobs, it is the most important job that there is. And we can't solve this problem one at a time, you know, in one big fell swoop. It's going to have to be little bits and pieces here and there. And we've still got people that are unemployed because they're not trained in the categories where we need workforce. So we're going to do more, we're going to do better, and this could not be a better program to start off with, and hopefully it'll set the stage for other programs that can come along where we can expand on those as well. So thank you all for being here, and it's an honor to be partners with Amazon, it really is, and with the city and, and higher education and everybody involved. I thank you for the opportunity to be here, and I'm really excited as we move forward and looking forward to the opportunity to expand upon this for everybody, especially for our unserved and underserved communities because they're going to really get the benefit from this. So thanks everybody for being here. Have a great day. You've been watching breaking news from the Las Vegas Review Journal. 
sponsored by Michael Gaughan's South Point Hotel, Casino, and Spa.